Hi, I'm Doug from Hondata and today we're headed down to the dyno to test some basic bolt-ons for the FL5 Civic Type R which is also the same as the DE5 Integra Type S. Now, let's head to the dyno. We're going to be testing intakes, an intercooler, exhaust and of course flash probe. What do you think is going to make the most power? The power output for your car depends very much on engine, intercooler and radiator temperature. We needed to dyno the car nine times to stabilize the power output. Conditions were, we're at sea level, air temperature is about 75 Fahrenheit, cooling temperatures 180-183 and IATs were in the range of about 140 to 150 Fahrenheit. So the power drop from initial to the final stabilized power was 20 horsepower. This is so important to know because most are not aware of this and simply taking time to install an upgrade, intake or intercooler for example, will call the engine down and may show 20 horsepower gain regardless of the power the part might make. So Stabilize your power. Dyno it until you get a regular, repeatable power level. I'm going to be doing three runs with two minutes in between so we can have the cooling fans cool the power down. The first upgrade we test is the exhaust. There are many exhaust sizes. We simulated the best by running an open pipe. We saw an 8 to 11 horsepower increase across most of the rev range. However, we do not recommend that you run an open exhaust. Several years ago, we tested intakes for the FK8 and the best intake at the time was stock because it drew in cold air. All the other intakes drew in some hot air from the engine bay but times and intakes have changed. For this test, we test the PRL and the Eventuri intake. The Eventuri intake is a complete redesign from the FK8 Eventuri and it shows the Eventuri added 18 to 20 horsepower across the rev range. Perhaps this could be due to the heat conduction properties, properties of the carbon fiber it's made out of. The PRL intake added 3 to 10 horsepower across the rev range. Next on the list is the intercooler. This PRL intercooler made 10 horsepower at the top of the rev range. Intercoolers though that have more volume than stock, which are most, take more time to fill and put the boost through to the engine, so you can lose throttle response. A Honda race team that we supported reverted their racing intercoolers back to stock specifically for this reason. Now, when you're on the open road, a lot more air passes through the intercooler, so you may well find that your open road results are much better than what we show on the dyno here. The winner of this comparison is the Honda Reflash. More power, substantially more torque, and less expensive than most of the other bolt-ons. And you get traction control, and data logging, and the ability to custom tune. To learn more about the Flash Pro, head across to our website, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we've got a lot more announcements coming up. So, stay tuned.